Another objection to our approach is that children will see the images and that those children will be traumatized. First, we aren't targeting children. We're targeting those who are old enough to have abortions. Inevitably, some children will be around those older people. Now, if we could show these images in theaters or at universities and have those venues filled with all the people who are making the choice to abort, we wouldn't have to go to the public since the public would be coming to us. However, by experience, we know that when we do public presentations, very few people come, and for the most part, they are pro-life. Sometimes when abortion advocates attend, they actually do everything they can to censor the abortion images or to shut down our presentations. Therefore, the only venue we have left to speak to those who are facing the abortion decision is in public venues like the streets. Second, a parent's reaction determines a child's reaction. Our experience has been that a calm parent will have a calm child, but an angry, swearing parent is likely to have a confused child. A parent whose child sees the images can gently explain that a baby was hurt, but then tell the child that that will never happen to him or her. They can also explain that the people with the pictures are trying to protect babies. This will assure the child that her personal safety can be guaranteed. Secondly, it will also appeal to the child's instinctive sense of justice, letting her know that someone is out there protecting babies. Third, consider Hannah Taylor. When she was five, she saw a very disturbing image, a homeless man rooting through a garbage can. Did people complain that she had been traumatized and victimized by this reality? No. They were inspired by her conviction to become an advocate for the homeless. At the age of eight, Hannah formed a charity to help the homeless. Children have functioning consciences. The question is, do we? And finally, when it comes to choosing between born children's feelings and unborn children's lives, don't lives trump feelings?